Hi friends, what's happening? Now here's a video that I made when we went to the Blue Jays game a couple weeks ago. Got my hot dog in hand. So that's the clip there now. So I wanna show this to the world. In doing so, I'm gonna put it into Premiere as I know best, I guess. Put it into Premiere here. Oh, awesome, okay, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna export it, but wait, it doesn't really work, like, I uploaded this to YouTube and all you see is a video with two circles. So, after doing some research, finding out that you need this program here. This program is the Samsung 360 Director. Now this guy, you will need a code for it if you don't have the Samsung 360, you'll need to either buy it, purchase it, purchase a license. Now if you have the Samsung 360 camera, either the older version or the new 2017 version, just plug it in and after the installation is done, it'll detect that it's on your computer, you own it, it'll sync it up and you won't need to get a registration code, license, etc. So, download the 360 Action Director, do all the mumbo jumbo, install it. We'll let this uh, do its thing while I eat my ugaric. Oh. Mm. 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 Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. All right. Now you'll have an icon like this. If you look below, you'll find a link to the 360 Action Director. Now that it's finished installing, let's go and make a 360 video. So hit 360 VR video there. Now when it opens, you'll see, I just resize this for you. Now when it opens, you'll see two videos. Ballerina video, just some sample videos that they've shot. Comes with it every time you open it. Little air balloon action there. Cool. So let's go back, find our footage. There's our footage. And throw in import our clip. Now, when you import your clip, you'll see this percentage pop up here. And what it's doing is rendering and stitching your footage together. So, in the meantime, just delete these two clips beside it. Let it do its thing. Go have a yogurt. And once it's complete there, you'll see the bar is gone. Little check mark will show up. And let's drag it into our timeline. Here we are. Look at that. That's me. Hi, my hot dog. Nice hot dog. And mustard fingers. Gross. Gross. Anyways, let's get to it. That's the big CN tower. Zoom in, zoom out. Your scroll button does the same thing. And to recenter, just hit this middle thing here. These are your controls. You can move your canvas around, crop it, and get creative with it. You can pop out the window. Personally, I just leave it in there. What else got here? Full screen. What's this? You can adjust your volume. Wee wee. Storyboard quality. Now this it depends on what kind of computer you have. Um, obviously turn it down if your computer is struggling. Uh, if you want to see every little detail, turn it up. Simple as that. I like full resolution. Now here are some guidelines if you like for graphics, etc. Now that we're pretty familiar with these tools here, let's check out these tools up here. And this program has a few different types of motion graphics, which are pretty cheesy if you ask me, but. Oh, look at this, got some dissolves. Ooh, pixelation. 
8-bit editing. Awesome. Anywho, we're just here to stitch the video. We need to do whatever we got to do to get this into Premiere. So, let's fast forward a bit. You know, here's a section where you can change it from 16 9, 4 by 3, or you just leave it at 2 to 1. If you hit this gear over here, it'll take you to the preferences menu. Go through it, get familiar with it. Now our clip is in, ready to export. Go over to produce video at the bottom right. You'll see two options. These options are H.264, AVC, MP4, or H.265. Personally, I'm gonna use the MP4, AVC, HD. Pick your resolution on this drop down here. Set your export name and your export destination and hit produce. Hey, hey, and looks like it's done stitching. So let's open up our documents, go down to Samsung Action Director 2.0, and there's our footage. Perfect. Now, let's throw this into Premiere. Before we throw this into Premiere, we gotta get Premiere a little bit set up. So if you go into your program monitor here, go to the bottom right, the little plus, click the plus, you'll see a bunch of different options show up. On the bottom, you'll see a little globe, little circle, circular icon. Now this is your toggling your VR display. Drag it out so you have it on your timeline here. And there you have it. You'll have a little square. If you click on the screen here, you can move around. Use the scroll button on your mouse to seek back and forth. Now, depending on what you shot this on, you might want to change it or where you're going to be uploading it to, you might want to change the settings. So if you right click and go down to VR, right there, you can check on the settings, click on the settings there, and you can adjust your view. All right, let's move forward. Let's grab our footage. Now here's the difference. You can see it's already stitched together on this one. And on the original video, it's the circular export that the camera gives you. So this is the true VR aspect that you want. Now Premiere will detect that it's a VR video. As you can see, if you tried to export the first video, you'd have some stitching issues. Let's go into Toggle VR. As you can see, there aren't any stitching issues, but with the first video, you'd have a little bit of stitching issues. So this is why we put it through the Samsung Director. All right, let's get rid of that clip. Don't forget to save. Now let's try to mess around with some graphics here. If you want to put in titles, things like that. Let's get some graphics going here. Add some little fade in. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Just, you know, for the end. Got to be polite.
So this seems to be good to go. I'm happy with it. Add a little dip to black. Dip to black. Be professional about your videos. All right, go to File, Export. Now, Premiere will know that it's a 360 video. Um, do all the regular settings that you do. Change the name. You know, go through your codec. Go through. This is just for YouTube. It's just gonna be a quick upload, so I'll keep it in H.264. You can turn up the passes if you want. But this is the most important part here. Just make sure that this checkbox is checked, that it is a VR video. Um, depending on what you want the viewer to see, these are your three options here. Just let it do its thing. There it is. Now it's not two circles, it's nice and stitched. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. So this is the video that we take, upload it to YouTube. YouTube will detect. As you can see, here are some settings, here are some guidelines for uploading 360 videos. And while your video is uploading, you can put in the title, put in a description, all the fun YouTube stuff. Wait for it to finish here. Awesome. Now that it's done, let's take a look. Here's our video. Let's just do a quick refresh. It probably hasn't finished processing yet. Be patient, your 4K will arrive. That's it. Thanks for watching guys, there will be more 360 videos to come, but for now, click subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I'll have more for you shortly. Thank you!